the Pacific Ocean, home to a vast number of incredible species and an enormous natural resource for humans on the west coast of the Americas. But even this magnificent ocean is vulnerable to change. The Humboldt squid's recent invasion of the majority of the west coast of both Americas has threatened this prosperous ecosystem. However, these creatures are native to California. So, why then are they appearing by the thousands up and down the west coast? One of the primary theories for their change in range is the recent rise in ocean temperatures due to global warming. So climate change can cause the movement of a species like the Humboldt squid in terms of its range um, because it's actually changing the temperature of the oceans. Everyone knows, or most people know, that climate change is heating up the atmosphere. It's changing the overall average temperatures of the atmosphere. But the ocean actually acts like a big sponge, like a kitchen sink sponge. And like a kitchen sink sponge absorbs water, the climate, the ocean absorbs heat from the excess heat from the atmosphere. And so as the atmosphere heats up, the ocean is absorbing a lot of that heat and getting warmer itself. And this can change the range of animals. Overfishing of the squid's natural predators, such as shark and tuna, has led to increased numbers of squid as well. If you remove more apex predators from the squid's area, that means that there's less competition for their food sources. This means that there's more food for them and they're able to breed um, more successfully and so there can be more squid. Through these events, overfishing and increasing ocean temperatures, the Humboldt squid has been able to expand its range above and below its native home. The squid can grow up to six feet in length and boasts an aggressive attitude. Combined with natural curiosity and a high degree of intelligence, the Humboldt squid is a formidable predator. So if you have a new predator into a new area, a new species range, it's going to impact the food web in that area because, for instance, all of a sudden you have a new predator moving in that's going to eat species and fish that wasn't there before, and that's going to change the balance of the food web. And so that has an impact, a cascading impact, on all the other species in that area. The increased number of these predators has had an impact on humans as well. The massive numbers of these squid have interfered with commercial fishing by depleting the regular supply of fish. Finally, these squid are suffering due to their increase in range as well. Due to their unnatural habitat increase, they are becoming exposed to red algae blooms, which arise from ocean temperatures and pollution, and these algae blooms deplete the oxygen supply in the ocean. As a result, these squid are dying in massive numbers and washing up on west coast beaches. While the invasion of the squid may seem daunting to both us as humans and the squid, it is simply another effect of climate change and overfishing, two things that we as human beings can change. So there are a number of things that people can do to reduce climate change and overfishing. In terms of climate change, we really have to look at the ways that we produce energy, the ways we move around in the world, and the way that we grow and get our food. And if we make changes to those large systems, both individually and as a society, uh, we can impact how much impact those are having on the environment. Now in terms of overfishing, you know, Fishing is all about consumers and people buy fish to eat, people need fish to eat. And so the more information we have as consumers, the better we can do at making better choices about what kinds of fish come from the ocean. And so, for instance, I would say a consumer can get a hold of the Seafood Watch card from Monterey Bay or the Seafood Watch app and put it into their smartphone. And if they do that, when they go to restaurants or stores, they can actually ask questions and make better decisions about what types of seafood to buy. And that has an impact on what types of fish is caught in the ocean. And that can impact overall fish populations. We the people can do many things to change the world for the better, and we should all do our part to keep our planet bright, beautiful, and bountiful.